If you are a YouTube creator and want to make revenue by uploading videos on YouTube, then you must familiarize yourself with the copyright rules and how they work on YouTube. This will help you avoid any copyright issues on your channel. Hi everyone, I am Sadaf and you are watching Live Technology Smart. In this short video, we are going to talk about how YouTube enforces copyright rules on its platform and what happens if someone violates those rules. But first off, let's see what is copyright law. Copyright law is a legal right that gives the creator of an original work the exclusive rights to determine how their work is used. Now you must be thinking what type of work is considered original work and what type of work is subject to copyright? And the answer is basically any kind of creative work. It can be in the form of literature, art, education or even in the form of music. To say the least, you name any original creative work and it is subject to copyright by law. Some examples of creative work may include songs, books, articles, video games, TV shows, or even computer softwares. I want to clarify one thing though. There exist ideas or facts or principles in the world. They are not subject to copyright. But if someone uses those ideas or facts to create an original work, that work is protected under the copyright law. Now that we are clear what is copyright law and what type of work is protected under the copyright law, Let's see how YouTube, the biggest video sharing platform in the world, enforces the copyright. Enforcing copyright law, YouTube says that you cannot use someone else's videos, music, or any other type of creative work in your videos or even in live streams without their permission. It doesn't matter whether you intend to make revenue from the video or you simply just want to share your video with the world. You still need to get permission from the copyright holder. Otherwise, you cannot use their work, neither partially nor fully. There, now, there exist misconceptions where people think, since I purchased the movie or a DVD, so I own the right to upload it to YouTube. But that is far from truth. Even if you give credit to the copyright owner, posting videos that include the content you purchase may still violate the copyright law. Also, some people also think that if a content doesn't have a copyright symbol, it's not copyright protected. But that's not true either. The fact is, the moment any kind of an original work is created, US copyright law protects it without even the need of registration. Now, I am not a lawyer by any means, but this is what the US official copyright website states. Different countries may have some exceptions on copyright rules, so be sure to check your own country's rules. Now, like I stated earlier, YouTube is the biggest video sharing platform in the world. Thousands and thousands of videos are being uploaded on YouTube every single second. And YouTube takes copyright violations very seriously. Because if a content creator or a YouTuber violates the copyright, and the copyright owner sends a valid legal complaint, YouTube by law is required to take down their content. And YouTube is also required to prevent people from repeatedly violating other people's copyright. So to achieve this, YouTube has set up a copyright strike system, which means that if someone's content becomes subject of a takedown notice, YouTube will issue them a copyright strike. And this strike will remain on their channel for 90 days. Now, the first two strikes don't have any impact on your channel. But if you receive a third strike within 90 days, your channel will be terminated and your videos will be removed from YouTube. Worse yet, you will be banned from creating another channel on YouTube. Now, all of that being said, there are exceptions where you can use the copyrighted content without infringing the rights of copyright owner. It is either by getting permission from copyright owner or through fair use. Not gonna talk about the rule of fair use in this video though, because I already have made a detailed video on this concept. I will link it in the description, so be sure to check it out. All right, folks, now that you have become aware of the basic copyright rules on YouTube, 
avoid uploading any content that doesn't belong to you. As a YouTuber, you know that it takes an immense amount of effort to prepare and upload content on YouTube. So I would say keep yourself out of trouble of dealing with the copyright strikes. With all that, this is all for today's video. Be sure to check out my other important videos related to copyright rules on YouTube. I'm going to link them all in the description. I will see you all in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.